Hello, I'm Craig Doden, Solutions Director with Century Business and Catalyst IT. Today I want to talk to you about WPP, Windows Protected Printing. It's a new protocol that's being introduced by Microsoft. It's to enhance the security of printing. Windows Protected Print Mode, or WPP, is a security enhancement done by Microsoft to simplify printing. The reason why they did this because of print nightmare that happened a couple of years back. They found out that hackers were able to securely get into servers based off of printer installations from third parties. To resolve this, they came out with this WPP. And now we're going to talk about what it is. Windows Protected Print Mode is a security feature in Windows 11 that enhances the way and the simplicity of printing. By doing this, it takes the manufacturer drivers away. It puts all of the print on Microsoft, which to me is a good and bad thing. October 1st was the first release of it. They're doing it out in phases. What they are going to do is they are gonna give you an option that you can just choose to turn it on. I don't suggest to do that right away. Microsoft said that once you turn this on, you cannot turn it back off. It now becomes default. And what it does is it takes away and breaks any type of printing that you already are using on your computer. All devices are impacted. It does not matter what manufacturer. The reason why I want to tell you this and the reason why we want to bring this up is because it does not matter whether it's a Kyocera, Ricoh, Toshiba, and HP. It does not matter. Microsoft is making this change. Microsoft is saying, we are done doing what we have done for the past 25 years and we're going to start something new. Everything is affected. From finishing to booklets, to any type of specialty needs that we used to use on the drivers, this is all going away. It's going to be Microsoft is going to tell you what you get to do and what you cannot do. It's going to be up to the manufacturer on the back end, whether we take that information and then allow you to make those changes after it gets to the machine. But from a driver standpoint, you will not get any options in terms of full on driver capability drivers like we had before. They're doing it to simplify printing. What they are requiring the manufacturers to do is become MOPRA certified. So essentially think of it as I simply call out to the printer and the printer tells me what it has. What we are going to do or what Microsoft is planning on doing is simply sending it a PDF. It's going to make the device have to render it. So finishing options and all these different things could go away. As of right now, it's slated for 2027. Now they are already starting to implement it by allowing you to turn it on or turn it off. What I suggest you do is talk to your IT staffs and IT departments and ask them about WPP. WPP is coming. Drivers are no longer being part of the system. Microsoft will give you a driver to use. It's based off of their architecture. Think of it as the most generic driver that you could possibly think of. And these are the options that you get. Maybe staple and maybe duplex. Drawer, drawers might be a hit or miss. For what we have seen already, if you've seen the Microsoft IPP printer that sometimes gets installed automatically, that is the first alliteration of what is happening. You cannot go back in time. It is a feature that you turn on and you lock in. Once it's locked in, it's not, you cannot go back, is what we've been told by Microsoft. Last but not least, I just ask that you would just talk to your IT staffs and IT departments about WPP. The advantages and disadvantages, there is good and bad with everything that comes with it. But just for right now, I would suggest not to be jumping on the bandwagon yet. In terms of WPP, there is a lot of changes that could be happening in the next three years. That's why they're giving you a grace period to get this done.